Hi, I'm Debbie Timmons, Editor-in-Chief of TheAverageGamer.com. I'm here today to give you a bunch of tips and tricks on console games. When it comes to the Dead Rising games, you can't really play them like a normal game. Rather than try and play through the plot all the way through, what you should do on the first playthrough is just skip the cases. You don't want to worry about, well, you won't be able to do them properly because you'll start at level one, you have no powers, you have no good weapons, you have no good skills. Play it through, save some survivors if you want, but don't be scared by the fact that the case files will just go failed, failed, failed all over the place. It doesn't matter. What you want to do is go through, kill loads of zombies, rack up your prestige points, level up, you'll unlock the skills, you'll unlock the weapons, and you'll be much more powerful next time. When you get to about level 26, 27, that's when you should start doing the case files, because that's the only time you can get through the psychos that'll be blocking your way. All that being said, it is a good idea to do case 2.1. That's the first case you'll get on the second day. What that does is unlocks the underground, which not only gives you a whole new level to explore, there's a, there are slightly safer ways to get across the entire strip. You'll also unlock some golf carts and a ramster ball, which is always fun to run around zombies, and you'll find some zombrakes just lying around for someone to pick up. The other key mission you want to do on day two is called Wilted Flower. I won't spoil the whole thing for you, but basically go to the South Plaza, bring a girl a drink, something non-alcoholic, and then save her. That'll open up a shortcut from the bathroom in the South Plaza to the safe house, which just makes everything much faster. Final point, never, ever, ever leave the security room without a fire axe. It should be your basic weapon. Uh, near the maintenance room, you'll find a sledgehammer. Combine that with a fire axe to make the defiler. It's far better than anything you'll find anywhere nearby. I've been Debbie from The Average Gamer. These are my tips for Dead Rising 2. Have fun with the zombie slayage.